So yeah, like <laughs> it's probably really tough to put into words, right? Like what this whole week has been like for you, but you know, just maybe touching on just the dream aspect of it coming true. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been amazing. Honestly, it's, it's absolutely a dream come true. And I don't think I've really been able to process it because it's something I've just dreamed of for so long and for it to actually happen, it almost doesn't feel real. Um, I don't, (laughs) I don't really know how to, how to process um, something like this. And I haven't had a chance to really sit down and, and process all of this. It's just, you know, um, it happens so quickly. And then, you know, there's just a lot of logistics, you know, that I have to go through now getting, you know, prepared for Tokyo that I don't think I've really sat down and, and have been like, wow, I just accomplished my childhood dream. And um, it's, it's just, it's an, it's an amazing feeling. I, I can't even describe it. Cause I don't think I, I even, I don't even know what I really feel completely. So I, I really can't describe it, but as far as right now, I'm just, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm so grateful for this experience. I'm so blessed to have so many wonderful people supporting me and just to be able to pursue this dream and now have the opportunity to make even, you know, bigger dreams and, you know, shoot for those goals has been amazing to, to light a new fire, you know, inside me. I'm, I'm just, I'm so blessed and so excited. You know, you, you told me the last time we did this interview that like, you know, Hey, if you really want to make it this year, but if you don't like, that's okay. Cause you're in it for the long haul. Um, you know, how much of an extra confidence boost does that give you that like, Hey, you know, you're here right now doing this. It's not like another four years down the road. Yeah. To be able to make it this year, I feel like the biggest weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Um, I know so many people, you know, chase this dream down for so long. Even, even my coach, he, uh, back in the day, he was at four Olympic trials and unfortunately never made it. And you know, that to be able to do it on my first try and to, to kind of get that off my back and now, um, just feel like I can pursue even bigger goals. I think that's going to elevate me as a thrower, um, as an athlete and give me, you know, the confidence to reach these bigger goals, because now I know that I've, everything I've worked for has it's prepared me for this moment and has, has, you know, I, has come through. And, um, yeah, I think it's just given me the confidence now to know that I, I believe I can truly reach anything I set my mind to and, um, yeah, to be able to make it on, on this Olympic team is just the biggest, the biggest relief. It really is. But again, it's, it's lit a new fire inside me. <laughs> that's a, that's such a good inspiration. Um, was there a def- do you recall anything that went through your head when, when you finally like found out that you were one of the top three, was there one distinct thing that just went through? Oh gosh. Um, I think what, what went through my mind when I found out I made it honestly was just pure relief. Um, my, my throws leading up to that. I mean, I, I had to fight. I had to fight, um, to get that position. I believed that I was, I was prepared and I think, I believe I was, but you know, this being my first experience at the Olympic trials, um, you just, you, it's, you can't prepare <laughs> like completely. So to be able to fight back for that position, knowing that I should be one of the people going and, you know, I, I truly believed I should be able to go. And I, I was in a position, I put myself in a position this year to go and the, you know, the, the fight, the fear of not making that team, you know, during the competition, because it, it could have been a reality to not make it. When I found out, um, after the sixth round that I was going to make it, it was just pure relief and emotion. Um, so I think, you know, my initial reaction was just the, the relief of that, that fear of not making it. And then beginning to process that I just qualified for the Olympics. Um, that, that was probably the first, the first kind of 
you know, bundle of emotions that, that crossed my mind uh, right afterwards. When, what about during the competition? Like, I think what you got it on the fifth, on, on your fifth attempt, that was the, that was the one that sealed it for you. Yes. So like, yes. you know, you go through one through four, they're just not what you're feeling. Like, what are you thinking when you come up there? You're like, okay, I got two, I got two left of me. I, um, I, I felt when on that fifth throw, I, I knew I was struggling. I knew there was a disconnect between my, my mind and my body. I mentally felt prepared. I, you know, I was positive. I was reassuring myself that my cues and what we've been working on, everything I've worked on will produce good throws. So on the fifth one, I just trusted in what my coach was also seeing. There was a lot of things that I thought I was doing right, but again, the disconnect between my mind and body, you know, from the adrenaline and, you know, all, all the emotions I'm trying to, to fight through, to make this meet feel as normal as possible. Um, my coach was able to point something out to me on, I believe it was the fourth throw and I, that's what propelled me into fourth place. And then I was able to clean up my throw a little bit even more on that fifth one. And I just, I knew I was capable of experiencing, you know, a top three finish. And I wanted that so bad. I wanted to solidify my ticket to Tokyo. So I just did the best I could on that fifth row to execute, you know, exactly what I knew how to execute. And it, it came together. It wasn't the prettiest throw. There was definitely things I, I definitely pulled back on that throw. I still felt it. I still felt, you know, the, the nervousness still getting to me, but, um, I, I was just, I was able to pull something that was good enough and I, I felt it. I, and it, it was good enough. It just, it was just good enough. And that's all I needed for that day. Absolutely. How do you think that stage translates now to the Olympic stage? Hey, you know, that, that's, I'll let you know him in uh, August. Um, no, I, I think, I think it's going to be a little a different. Um, going into this meet, there were different expectations. I was in a position to make an Olympic team. And I think that pressure was a very interesting experience to deal with during the moment. Um, now, you know, going to the Olympics, obviously I'm not, um, you know, a top three competitor, uh, that doesn't mean I can't be, but I think from the trials where I'm kind of fighting to, keep my position that I've already created for myself versus going to the Olympics and basically swinging for the fence. Um, it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be a different experience, but I'm, I'm glad I experienced the nervousness of the Olympic trials because I know I will experience that again. And I now know how my body reacts and what I need to do to, uh, to fight that and to throw my best throws. And I'm glad I experienced that because I will probably feel that at the Olympic level, you know, the, the pressure. And even though, um, you know, I'm not again, a, a top three, com like medalist competitor at this point that, it, you know, distance wise, and again, doesn't mean exactly. I won't be, um, it's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be feeling some nervousness, I'm sure going into this Olympics. So I'm, I'm glad that the Olympic trials did kind of set that stage for me and give me that experience so I can hopefully uh, maximize my, my athletic ability at the Olympics. Yeah. Rock on, rock on. Hopefully. Yeah. I, I love that. Um, other than that, just maybe details, like what's next for you? When do you head out? What's, what's the plan? Yes. So, um, I'm just going to be getting back to training. Uh, I believe I'm going to be doing a meet or two overseas, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah. Something that we excited. couldn't talk about, looking... you know, seven months ago. I know. Um, so I'm excited to, I'm excited to experience that. Um, I believe it's going to be in France, which again, so cool. Um, so grateful for that experience and it'll be good to, um, kind of feel what like an overseas, you know, experience will feel like, um, you know, a long flight, uh, just getting used to that. And then I might do a meet or two here in the States and just use that to kind of uh, as a build up into the Olympics. And, um, so that's what I'm going to be doing, uh, meet wise. And then I'm just going to 
be training, be solidifying my technique, making it as easy as possible, um, as consistent as possible. I'm going to use all the information I gathered from this trials uh, to really prepare myself um, to be as successful as possible at this Olympics. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then when do you, when do you guys head out to Tokyo? Right. Um, I head out to Tokyo on the 24th of and July. then I will, yes, okay. of July. Um, I will get there the 25th of July. I believe I compete um, in preliminaries on the 30th okay. of July and then finals is on the 2nd of August. And then I would fly out two days after that. Wow. Well, at least you get yeah. a little time to like enjoy the city a little bit and stuff like that, right? Um, we have about three places we can go, which oh, is. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see. Okay. I'm already back to more normal again. I just forget. Yeah. I know, but hey, at least I get to experience it. I, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, it's not going to be a normal Olympics. And I, I know that, but I don't know what a normal Olympics is. I've never been to one. So this is, this is as great as it gets. I couldn't be more excited um, to, for this experience. And that just means the next Olympic team I plan on making is going to be that much better. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're an inspiration. <laughs> we appreciate Thanks. you. Of course, of course. Is there anything else that you want to say before we uh, hop off here? I just want to say I'm grateful for all the support, all the outreach, all the congratulations, the love that's been poured into me. And I just want everyone to know that I I feel it. I read it. I see it. And just thank you. Absolutely. I'll do my best to make everyone proud and go Team USA. (laughs) You're representing us well. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you.